Welcome to the topic one on uh, human resource management process. Uh, you know, the topic is about human resource management process. As we already discussed, human resource management process is nothing but what are the kind of an activities HR department does for the entire you know organization, and how are they going to make the HR as a major kind of an productive kind of an activity. Now let's come to the first part of it. That is topic one. Uh, you know, as we already you know, you might be aware that. In a human, you know, in the overall management process, which involves mainly, you know, uh, four to five steps. It starts from a planning, and second one is an organizing function. Third one is a staffing function. Fourth one is a leading function. Fifth one is a controlling function. The same HR department also applicable with the same kind of, you know, steps involved. So the first step is about planning as to human resource planning. What are the kind of, you know, people we want, and we need to analyze the entire job. And we need to you know probably do the entire manpower planning and from there you know we may have to come to the organizing function as to what are the kind of jobs who has to do it what are the kind of you know relationship and how the entire organization structure can be built all this thing you know we try to work on the second step and the third step is about you know recruitment and uh, staffing part of it filling the right kind of a person to you know match the right kind of a job so that's what exactly the staffing function does and fourth one is we might recruit a lot of people but we need to give them a direction as to what way it has to go so we need to have a right kind of a leader the line manager as well as the staff manager has to be you know clearly specified and they need to be recruited properly and they need to be inducted and they're supposed to showcase their leadership skills so that the entire organization the employees also follow the same thing and finally you know when we give them a, a proper kind of a directions and uh, looking at the planning part of it we also need to you know work out the controlling as to what way organization human resources can be controlled with respect to the kind of you know uh, output they produce so these are the ways actually you know close to that management process even a human resource management process also follows the same kind of management processes or steps now let's come to the uh, the human resource management processes specifically with respect to the hr activity what are the kind of you know uh, uh, activities or probably the uh, tasks they'll be performing the first step or a first task for a human resource management as part of the human resource management process will be acquiring a right kind of a talent and again you know getting a, a, a right kind of a talent for a right kind of a job it's very very challenging task so we may have to you know search through the right kind of sources so it involves the recruitment and recruitment sources and so many other things are involved what is that reliable kind of a sources we can look in and how we can get the right kind of an you know human assets next comes the people who are actually you know we uh, inducted or probably recruited provide them a right kind of a training so that they will understand what is our organization's uh, goal and they understand what is exactly organization uh, task or an activity demands so ultimately you know they'll be their skill will be sharpened their skill will be you know enabled and the third step is appraisal give them an appraisal as to you know how they are performing very well and uh, give them a correct kind of guidance through the appraisal system and motivate them and uh, you know give them a kind of a uh, job recognition and give them a recognition for whatever work they've done and ultimately you know then comes your compensations your salary calculations and you know the overall payroll calculations and next comes your labor relations you know whatever kind of a labor related problems or employee requirements we may have to fulfill and ultimately ultimately you know the ethics also has to be maintained in the organization fair and equal kind of an you know opportunity has to be given for all the employees and health and safety standards in a working place and working condition has to be you know maintained and improved very well so these are the major kind of an you know task or an activity will be performed uh, during the human resource management process now let's try to uh, look at it actually you know the earlier personal management and today what you call human resource management so how is that difference what is a personal manager or a you know the old kind of personal management function does they conduct a job analysis they plan labor needs and recruiting a right kind of you know uh, job candidates and selecting a job candidate and once the jo um, uh, candidates join they orient them and train the new employee and manage their wages and salaries and providing an incentives and benefits appraising their performance communicating them about where they are going wrong and 
what way they need to align their goals according to the organization goal and provide them a training and developing a managers and build an employee commitment these are the personal aspect of a manager's job you know the hr uh, play a very very important role so that's the way actually they are developing a personal towards an organization goal and ultimately if you look into it uh, what are the kind of mistakes uh, generally you know at the personal level it happens you know, you know by following a personal management we might hire a wrong person for the job because there is no right kind of a job fit or a strategic fit has not been worked out and uh, personal management talks about only on recording and maintaining the record uh, records employee records and uh, provide them an incentives and paying them a salary that doesn't alone you know going to help the organization or the employees in reaching the overall uh, satisfaction level so that will increase the experience of high turnover and uh, people may not do best to their abilities and simply you know personal management will waste their time in unnecessary kind of an interviews and meetings and all and uh, you know have your firm in court because of the discrepancy kind of an actions because you know with respect to the labor or probably with the hr there may not be a correct kind of an you know action will be taken and uh, this is be actually you know unsafe practices and uh, unnecessary uh, what you call it is trade unionism will come in and osho kind of you know osha kind of a movement and all will grip in into your organization and uh, they are actually you know some of the employees might feel that their salaries are very very unfair and uh, you know inequitable kind of a thing there is no equal opportunity has been given and uh, lack of training can be you know uh, variable visible through this uh, departmental effectiveness and commit to any kind of you know unfair labor practices all this thing might happen in the personal mistakes whereas in a human resource management if you look into it uh, it more into you know considering the all angles of the uh, you know human resources rather personal management is only one angle of it so that's a way human resource management it's a complete kind of you know package whereas your personal management it's covers only on the welfare aspect of it that too you know it is not covering the entire uh, coverage so coming to the basic hr concept the bottom line of managing is somehow we need to make sure that we need to maintain a balance so that the overall organization getting a result what it's supposed to get so that means it is hr is creating a value by engaging in activities that produce employee behavior so ultimately you know that will help the organization to achieve the or strategic kind of a goal and it is something like looking ahead that means hr department or hr activities will make them think in advance and evidence based hrm which will actually measure the value of the hr activities in achieving the overall kind of an you know goal now let's look at the human resource management duties as a hr department or hr managers they will mainly do three major kind of function one is a line function line function is nothing but whatever the core activities of an department let's say if it is marketing department or a hr department or probably a production department whatever the core activities the core activities you know the hr department will hr manager will act as a kind of an you know manager they will make sure that they'll give a proper kind of a guidance on your core departmental activities the th second kind of a major function what they done is coordinated functions it's like a functional authority like uh, they will coordinate with finance department they'll coordinate with various other department they make sure that resources in place and uh, you know they'll provide enough kind of facility for the or employees so that the employee can able to effectively utilize that resources and reach the organization goal the third kind of a function what hr department does is hr manager does is your staff function it's like a staff authority even the line managers if they are going wrong anywhere and the employee can always escalate and the hr will act as a kind of a you know mediator between a line manager and the line employees so that's a way actually you know they act as a kind of a staff authority and they make sure that innovations and advocacy role also they play in the entire organization's uh, goal